very important question for you. Do you have a backup of your WordPress website? An even more important question is when was the last time you did that backup? Well, I can't tell you the amount of times I've been working on something and something doesn't go as planned. Something screws up. It's not always easy to roll back. It's not always easy to fix what you've done. Sometimes you just need to go back in time. You need to get that backup. Whether it's having a server failure, whether it's screwing up something on your website, in this video, I wanna show you a really important thing that you really need to pay attention to, and that's making backups of your WordPress website. And in case of a disaster, in case something goes wrong, you've got that peace of mind, and I can't tell you how many times I've needed it. I build a lot of websites for my clients. I do updates on a regular basis for my clients, even for my own websites. And it's happened more than once that something hasn't gone as planned. I've had web server backups. And even though I've got a whole server backup, this just was an easier way to install that website and get me back up and running. So let's get into it right now. I'm gonna go into screen sharing mode. I'm gonna show you my WordPress website. We're going to install a plugin. We're gonna do a backup and I'm gonna show you how easy and simple it is. Let's go right now. Hey, my name's Lowell Brown, I'm from Going Social, and I help you with your digital marketing needs. And in this video, we're talking about website. We're talking about website maintenance, updating websites, and most importantly, backing up that WordPress website. I already said, I've done this countless times. Well, not countless. I've done it a few times where I've screwed something up and I've needed to roll back to previous version of my site and fix something in a different way that didn't break it. So I'm gonna go into a demo right now. We're gonna go into screen sharing mode. I'm gonna show you the back end of my WordPress website. We're going to install this plugin. We're gonna get going. Let's do it right now. Okay, so we're here and I've logged into the back end of my WordPress website. This is the dashboard page. Now, the first thing we need to do is install that plugin. And how do we do that? Well, we go here on the left side, click on plugins. And you can see that I've got a lot of plugins that I need to update. And before I do that update, I've actually deleted my backup um, plugin because I wanted to do this demo. But anytime I do a change on my website, whether it's, it's updating WordPress or it's updating plugins, I always take a backup first. And the reason why I do that is because you never know when something is going to screw something else up on your website. So what you wanna do is click up here, click on add new plugin. That's gonna open up another screen and we've got all these choices right here. But what I want you to do, I'm gonna help you find this in a really easy way. We're going to type in updraft plus. Now that might sound like it's a, not a backup plugin, but that's exactly what it is. Updraft Plus, WordPress Backup and Migration Plugins. And I wanna also tell you, this is a free plugin. There is a paid add-on for extra things, but this is a free plugin. All you have to do is click on that, install now, you'll see it here, install now. And then once it's installed, it's gonna show you this and you're gonna to have to activate. So you wanna click that again to activate that plugin. And now it's gonna roll you back to your plugins page. And if we scroll down, we are gonna see Updraft Plus is right here. So we've got it installed. So now what do we do? Where do we find this plugin? It's it's not showing up on the left side here with all these other stuff. Well, you've got it up here. In case you don't see it, because previously I didn't, you can also find it under options. So if you click on options, you'll see it there. So let's open up to Updraft Plus. We've got some options up here on the top. I really don't have to set up a lot of things right now. You have options to backup and restore, and I'm gonna show you how to backup your website in this video. I'm not gonna go into restore. If you wanna see how to restore something after, comment below restore on this video. If you comment restore, I'll do another video demonstrating how to restore your website once you've got these backup files. But in this one, we're just gonna backup. Um, migration or clone. And again, I mentioned that there's other features of this and advanced tools as well. And you can lock in stuff with updraft, updraft premium, but I always use the free version. So it's very simple to do. All you have to do is click this backup now button. You're gonna see this toggle open up. First thing is include your database in the backup. Yes, we want to include the database because WordPress is a database. So you wanna include that. 
um, and include the files. So anything that we've uploaded to our website, do we want to include that? Yes, I do. And then there's an option to, so what, what you can do is you can set the number of backups that you keep before Updraft Plus automatically deletes things. That's one of the settings you can adjust, or you can choose here to always keep this or to keep this exact backup and not auto delete it. So for now, we're just gonna go and click backup now. And as you're gonna see, it's gonna start backing up everything on your website. When this ends, you're gonna see this menu bar is gonna scroll along and it's gonna show you the progress. Now you could actually leave right now. You could leave, do other things on your website and come back, and then you're gonna see um, the backup later. So this is actually going to go on in, in the back, um, in the background and, and work to update your stuff. So I'm just going to let this backup run and then I'm going to circle back with you once this is completed. Okay, so the backup is now finished and you'll see that the backup is showing on the bottom now. So it has backed up our database, plugins, the theme, any uploads that we've done, and then others. Others is like a collection of other things for your website. You wanna back up all of this stuff. So there are, are a few ways to do it. Now you can see right here, backup click to download. So if you click on any one of these, it's going to basically uninstall or, or package up these different settings for you or different segments of your website because the website could be one big file and it's hard to download all of that. So what it does is it backs up these individual things and then you can click on here to download from your computer. Or if you wanted to, once this has already been, you know, if you leave it like this and you come back and you see this is still open, you can select to delete this part of your file. I'm gonna show you another way to delete in a second, but as you can see, just click here to download. It'll, it might pop up saying, hey, do you wanna allow downloads? You can click allow, and you're gonna see that that's gonna start downloading. And I've got this little menu here showing that, hey, I've downloaded, and I'm gonna download again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Now, before you delete, make sure everything has finished downloading. So we're looking at, it's downloading here, and I can see now that everything is downloaded. So now if I was to go and look at my downloads folder, I would see that I've got all these files downloaded to my computer. Great, so I've taken my backup, it was that easy. We installed that plugin, we clicked backup, we clicked on each one of these, and we downloaded it. We've now got all of, all, basically we've got our website, our WordPress website backed up. And it's, it's also backed up and saved locally instead of sitting on the web server. So right now this backup is sitting on our web server. Well, that's, that's good that you've got multiple versions, but if something actually happens to happen to your web server, keeping them here alone isn't good enough because you're gonna lose your backups if you lose your web server. And I've had a web server crash before. So you do wanna download that, and I've, I've downloaded them. I'm a little more paranoid, so I've actually downloaded them. I do keep backups, but I actually keep backups of my backups in case even my computer here were to crash or something to happen. I put it on an external hard drive. I've uploaded them to Amazon Web Services. So I, I usually keep multiple backups of, of my stuff. Now, one little warning here. Every time you do these backups, it is taking up storage space on your web server because every backup is more data and it's gonna stay here on the server until you delete it or based on how you have your settings. Um, I've had a client that keeps two versions of backups and then when they they have it set to automatically backup and when a new backup is run, the oldest one will be removed. So that's one way of doing things. But just one thing to keep in mind, if you have a limited storage space on your web server is that each one of these backups will actually keep space so if you don't delete these it's going to use up more and more space on your web server and that could cost you money so let's get back to screen sharing mode i'm going to show you how to delete these backups so we've got these backups and if i don't want to keep these like i've already backed this up i don't need to keep it on my server i can i can do two things now i've already basically unpacked this part of the backup i could delete that and what you're gonna see is you can, it's it's now gone, that's deleted, right? So this is also neat. If you wanted to see the contents, now I don't do this often, I don't need to see it, but 
it actually will allow you to open up and see that you've got all these files. These are all the plugins that were installed on my site. So you can actually browse these as well. And that's just to let you know what's there, but you don't really need it. So again, you want to delete all of these just to delete them from the top section because we unpacked it so that it would um, be able to be backed up. So I'm just going to refresh here just to show you how it looks. We've still got the backup sitting here. So again, if you want to keep one or more backups, totally fine. But if you do want to delete them to clear up storage space for yourself, then you just click on delete. It'll warn you that you're about to delete this backup and it's gone. It's that easy. It tells you that everything is done. So that's it. In this video, I showed you how to take a backup of your WordPress website. We walked through how to install the Updraft Plus plugin for WordPress, which as I showed you, is completely free for the basic version and it does everything that you need it to do in terms of backing up your website, giving you all those files so you can download them off the server and keep a backup. So I hope this demo has been really helpful for you. Please, please, please make sure you are keeping backups of your website because you never know when disaster is going to happen. You never know when you're going to update or change something on your WordPress website and you're going to need to revert back to the previous version. I've done it many times. So I hope this video helped you. If you do want to see another video about how to restore from a backup, how to restore this either on a fresh install of WordPress or how to revert back to uh, fixing from a backup, which I've done as well. Comment restore on this video. And if I get enough of those, I will record another video showing you how to restore. And if you're looking for more videos about how to, to save your butt for digital marketing, whether it's for Canva demos, whether it's for LinkedIn marketing demos, Facebook, um, Instagram marketing, you can catch those on my YouTube channel. Find the link in the description below. And if you found this video helpful, please, please, please click like and subscribe below. And that'll let you know the next time I create another video. But until then, once again, my name is Lowell Brown from Going Social, where I help you with your digital marketing needs. You can stay tuned for another video coming up right after this one. And you're going to see little icons showing right here very soon. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.